Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and today we're going to do a day one, day two follow up on the uh, Motorola Zoom. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We do that by pushing this button. If you saw the unboxing or other unboxing, you know that. So it turns on, takes a moment to boot. Now let me tell you, using this device uh, definitely feels as solid as an iPad, but definitely feels more heavy than an iPad. Uh, it feels built really well, but it feels like one solid piece of metal, which is good build qual quality, but can make your hands a bit tired while holding it. As you can see, the screen is extremely reflective, and I have actually don't have my overhead light on just to prevent even more glare and reflectiveness back from the camera here. So, while it's booting, it'll take a moment. No sound while it boots up. This is Gorilla Glass, I, I did find out, I looked it up, uh, so that should make this pretty durable. So here's the main screen, so we can zoom in a little bit, slide this up. Now to unlock this, we've got this button here. This is completely different from your normal Android device. This is made specifically for tablets and they've done a really nice job. So as you can see some nice effects, move this to the ring, it unlocks. Here's our main home screen and on the home screen we can put any number of widgets on the bottom. We can sc scroll right to left and I kinda wanna give you a quick overview of, of uh, this version of Android as well. So, unlike other Android devices, we don't have a drop-down drawer. We actually have a little notifier that's right here. If you can see right here, pull this in here. If it's not reflective, it should help. There we go. So, as you can see, we've got the time, we've got our battery, signal strength, and notifications. So, this is an email notification. If I want to bring up everything, I just tap, and someone subscribed on YouTube, so thank you for that. And here is my home network, my battery life, which I've actually never charged this yet in a couple days. Uh, I haven't used it constantly, but battery life seems to be good, pretty, or pretty good so far. It's telling me I have two emails. It's also telling me the, the gist of the message, as you know. If I want to close then get rid of it, I hit the X. And here's the other options. We also have this little option here for some settings. Airplane, lock, screen orientation, settings, notifications. It's really a nice little setup. Now, first of all, this tablet is really fast. And I mean, honestly, the iPad isn't even a comparison speed-wise to this thing. It's not fair to compare, compare this with the first iPad as far as speed goes, because this just blows it away, honestly. Uh, the next iPad, we'll have to see that's coming out in a couple days here, or at least being announced in a couple days. This is just so fast that uh, watching YouTube never stutters, and uh, it's just a really nice experience. So we have that notification bar in the bottom right, as you just saw, maybe, that we got another pop-up, and another person subscribed on YouTube, appreciate that. So on the left we have a home, back, and kind of like a task button, or what's recently been open. So if I hit this button right here, uh, nothing's been open because I just booted it. So let's open the browser. Uh, it'll load Google. Let's go back home. Let's go ahead and open the marketplace. We'll go back home. And we'll hit this button and it shows what's recently open. If I want to switch, tap open. Switch back, open. You see how fast that is. It's really fast. It's actually a little bit nicer to use than the iPad as far as the multitasking is concerned because instead of having to double tap something, this is just tap, it opens, we go into it. We're back home. It's that fast. It's just really impressive speed-wise. So the uh, taskbar here stays in every single application. This kind of is a default for the for Android uh, honeycomb. Now in the upper left we have our search button here, Google, or we can talk. It works really well just like you'd expect on an Android device. And I'm a huge iPad fan, but honestly uh, this blows away the Galaxy Tab by far because of honeycomb and speed-wise blows away the iPad. So here we have our apps button and we have a plus button. We'll hit the plus button and it allows us to add our widgets 
So we can add any number of widgets that we already have, mail, marketplace, uh, anything related to apps. It's really quite nice and we can go to here and go to any screen. We can also get that same menu by just tapping the home button. Or I'm sorry, not tapping the home button, holding on the screen. You'll get the same thing tap and go back. So that's how you can change your wallpapers. You've got app shortcuts, wallpapers, more. If we go to more, they're just more applications like your settings and things. Wallpapers, app shortcuts, your widgets, all those things you can just throw on whatever screen you want, just like any Android device. Now, if I hit the apps button, obviously brings me to apps, go back home, you can see how fast this switches. I mean, it's really impressive. Game-wise, uh, we'll cover that, I guess, in another one, but the graphics card on this makes this very fast and plays 3D games really well. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm like I said, I'm an iPad fan, and to see something that's this nice, that's different, now I haven't had my hands on one of the WebOS devices coming out, but honestly, this is, this is pretty convincing, and with the lack of Netflix on here, and Flash, which hopefully or supposedly is coming out in an update soon, um, it will make it more convincing. Because without Netflix, that's something I use the most on the iPad. Without Netflix on here, it really uh, limits my use to it, other than browsing the web and stuff, which isn't bad if that's what you want to do. But I do a lot of watching Netflix on here, and without Flash, uh, that could be a huge selling point for this, and I guess they're going to release that anyway. But So... Uh, one thing is nice, we'll go in the browser, and we've got multiple tabs here. We can just keep opening. We'll open this tab. If I want to go to Zolotech, the keyboard is really nice, fast, responsive. You can see there's my site here. The keyboard's very responsive, and we get this little status bar that's nice. And you can see how fast it loaded. I mean, you saw this from startup, nothing was open. It's just a really very fast device. That Tegra 2 processor is smoking fast. It's just really, uh, this is a whole nother level. So we just, this is the browser. I'm not going to go into browser details, but uh, that's pretty much it as far as the device goes. My overall experience has been really good, and this has GPS built into it with navigation, so you could use this as a giant navigation uh, thing in your car with the 3G uh, that's built into this, it also will make that nice. So it is a little bit pricey for the competition, seeing that it lacks Netflix. I know that may not be huge to some of you. To me, that's gigantic for a device like this. Uh, the music player is pretty nice on this. Let's go open music. It came with all of these albums. I can't play them due to copyright, but it came with all these albums on it. I didn't load any of these, and you know, just to show you how it works, uh, let's tap on this one. It opens up, gives you what we have, and shows what was played last. So it's pretty neat. It's It works well, and then it just shows down here in the bottom right while it's playing. So it's it's very nice as far as that goes. And again, the, it keeps track, and they're in here as far as the what we've done last. Switch back, switch back to music, switch back to the App Store. I mean, it's crazy how quick this is. I've actually gotten so used to this just in the past couple of days here that when I use the iPad, it feels slow. It's it's really amazing. I wouldn't think I'd ever say that. So, uh, other than that, though, I mean, there is a lot more to it. Let's check. Um, let me go into uh, settings, which is under apps now. There is no dedicated settings button. There are some notifiers here that when I have an email and this is shut off, it actually will blink along this bezel here, which is really cool. Let's go ahead into settings, and here we can set up our Wi-Fi hotspot, which is also nice. So tethering and portable hotspot is this option. If we go into here, oh, I hit the wrong one. We'll hit back. Tethering and portable hotspot. We go into here, USB tethering, portable Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth tethering. It's got every option. So it's never going to leave you stranded if you need to tether your your uh, laptop to it or whatever you're using. It's it's kind of nice that it has all those options. Uh, we have sound options, screen options, location, security, storage. Um, here you can see storage. Somebody was commenting on the unboxing video of this about the 32 gigs of storage. I mean, there you can see it. There's 28.78 gigabytes total, which is some of it's being used for the operating system, I would assume. So technically it's 
it's 20 or 32 gigabyte and then it's expandable via this slot here another 32 gigabytes so that's pretty impressive storage uh, my iPad has 32 gigabytes of storage and they offer up to 64 so it's nice that I have the option to later expand this as opposed to having to buy a whole new iPad to do that um, I could go on and on but that's pretty much Android oh let me show you one of the widgets these are kinda neat so these are live widgets so you can see here CNN if I want to browse to the next story I just pull down and it drops to the next one so it's pretty nice I uh, YouTube does the same thing. I don't know if that's on the home page here. Yeah, YouTube does the exact same thing and um, drops it down to the next one. So it's kind of neat that it does that and it makes it really nice and convenient to see that. I would love to see others kind of follow lead with that. Live widgets. Uh, Apple, take note. So uh, that's really it. We have a bunch of different things I could show you. Email is, is really nice. Actually, let me go ahead and open that for you. There's email. And it looks very, very similar to iPad in that um, my fitness pal, here's PayPal. And see, it doesn't load the, the pictures right away. If we hit show pictures, it will load. Uh, PayPal sent me something for, you know, whatever, some of their their information but email is very similar it works really well it's it's fast I love the notifier here that's huge plus to me it opens gives you the gist of it tap on it opens uh, no more having to switch apps to see everything that's going on I think Google nailed it with honeycomb for tablet it's it's just that good and so um, I'll be using it you know for a, for a few more days before I do a review maybe a week or so and then I'll do my full review do some comparisons but if there's anything specifically I haven't covered I know there's a lot to cover and we have a limited well I don't have a limited amount of time but you have a limited attention span probably as I do uh, let me know what you want to see if I haven't covered it already and I'll try and cover that the best I can in the next video for anyone that subscribed, thanks. As you saw, I had a couple subscriptions during the video. I appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And uh, please comment below on what you think of it so far. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.